Waves of grief rippled through Arapaho High School and the nation in 2013 when a student gunman shot a fellow student and then killed himself. Another instance of terror happened in 1999 when two students opened fire killing 13 people at Columbine High School. Now, a new school dedicated to training law enforcement has opened in Wheat Ridge and it's giving people a new sense of hope. It is named after the then Columbine High School principal Frank DeAngelis. Joining me live now in studio is Director of Safety and Security for Jeffco Schools, John McDonald. John, good morning. Good morning. I want to read you one stat here. EverytownResearch.org, which I should say is pro-gun safety, reports there are over 14 school shootings in 2017 thus far. They say over 200 in 2013. So was this school built to directly curb what feels like a nationwide trend? This school was really developed uh, to support law enforcement response. And law enforcement in the Denver community gives us so much every day to our schools. And they ask for nothing in return. This was an opportunity for us to th say thank you and provide them a location where they can train and prepare for that next event that happens somewhere in our community. You have cutting edge technology in this school. Tell us about some of that. Well, we have a TI active shooter training simulator that is it's just state of the art. It allows an officer to go into uh, a simulator and through one of hundreds of scenarios have a chance to train and prepare and use tactics and, and better understand decision making skills in a crisis environment. And what better opportunity to do it there than when you have to do it in real life. And it's really lifelike apparently, right? You have sirens. So. What else do you have going on in a classroom? Well, we have staged the school so that every classroom looks like either an elementary or preschool, middle school, high school classroom. We want that feeling for the officers when they come into the school to remind them who they're fighting for and what tactics need to be developed and used. I can only imagine this has to be emotional for officers who go through it. You know what, I think it's empowering and it gives them a sense of um, a duty and, and I think this is a place where we check our egos at the door mm -hmm. and we have some really tough conversations and we're not afraid to engage and talk about best practices and mistakes and lessons learned. And this school is really the only one of its kind in the country, and you do draw national response to it. We have, this year we've used it 157 days already, uh, training almost uh, 4,000 police officers there. And uh, we've had federal, state, local agencies, other school security departments around the state. We offer this free for any first responder that wants to come in and train. Wow, and it really shows appreciation for them. Well, they give us a lot. John, thank you so much. And I did call Frank DeAngelis yesterday, and he told me, quote, I was deeply touched and honored to have a facility in my name. And to be honest, he says, I was completely shocked. Alan, back to you. Well, we hope Principal DeAngelis is enjoying his retirement right now. One more day.